I also wanted to say I've been tracking postings on blogs and Facebooks, and I want to remind us all that um, civil dialogue is an important part of the democratic process, and the Jenkintown residents and community members um, are welcome and encouraged to come and stand and ask questions and give their views on topics at borough council meetings, and we welcome that. Um, council has a full schedule of committee meetings that are more work type sessions and citizens are invited to be part of those <coughs> meetings as well. Um, if you have a question about which committee your topic fits in, you can phone either the manager or myself or committee chair and find out like if it's unclear to you which topic, which committee you might attend. Um, I wanted to remind the public that we are a group of volunteers. All of us are residents. Um, there are three from each ward, plus our mayor. And none of us is looking for fame or fortune in doing this work. We are, doing, we are performing community service. Oops, sorry about my phone. Um, there is no monetary gain, and in some cases it actually costs us money to be here if we have to pay for babysitters uh, for young children. All 13 of us are people who have been chosen or who have been asked to step into this role of leadership, and we all know that when people do step into leadership, they're taking a risk. Um, we're putting ourselves forward. Um, we open ourselves up to criticism. We sometimes we are attacked, not, not physically, um, but leaders are often targeted or slandered, belittled, belittled and, um, and other people kind of try to put leaders down. Um, and so I want to remind us all here tonight that um, we are doing the best we can for the borough of Dickinson. Um, we are looking at the big picture, and we are also paying attention to detail. And that uh, we are not perfect, we do make mistakes, and we are trying as best we can. I think it's important to remember that we are your friends and your neighbors, and sometimes family, and um, what we have in common is the welfare of Dickinson. Um, we have a fiduciary responsibility to hire a borough manager, which we have done, and the borough manager runs the day-to-day -day business. And we are really fortunate to have a manager who is a dedicated professional, who's on call 24-7, who is uh, sort of a jack of all trades and a very fine collaborator, and who also wants the best for the borough. Um, council doesn't manage the manager, but we monitor and we give the big picture direction. Um, I also wanted to say a word about right to know requests. Um, we've been getting a lot of right to know requests, and these requests do take up staff time. Um, they take up the time of the manager and the finance director, and off, sometimes even our legal staff. So um, the, the borough incurs costs when we have um, an inordinate number of them. Um, that is not to say that the council is interested in keeping things quiet. No, quite to the contrary, we want to share information. So all, as much as possible, we share on our website. We have documents that are available at the desk. All of us are available by phone and by email to answer questions. Um, and um, all of us have to um, disclose, um, do a financial disclosure form, which we are you know, welcome to share with people who are interested. I know myself, I have nothing to hide. And I will be happy to share with any resident who wants to see my financial disclosure form. I ask that you just call me or email me directly. I also want to remind us that the Pennsylvania Municipal Code allows the borough, uh, when the borough is dealing with questions that have to do with personnel matters, litigation, or real estate, that sometimes we must have those conversations in executive session because of privacy issues and because when we're dealing with real estate, sometimes there are sensitive um, matters to discuss. So with all that being said, um, in a few moments, we will open up the floor to public comment um, and, um, and questions. 